Hey, we have a pick a card reading for you today to find out who's been thinking about you lately and what have they been thinking. So in the beginning, we're going to find out who it is, if there's more than one person, who they are, and then we'll get into messages from them and songs to get the vibe of what they've been thinking when they're thinking about you, what have they been wanting to say to you. We'll get messages from them, okay? So stay until the end if you want to hear what they've been thinking. So this is a pick a card reading where you use your intuition to feel out the piles that you have to choose from and decide which one is yours. So take your time. I'm going to pull a card for each pile so you can choose between the card that comes out or the bracelet or the yummy treats that you see here. You can pause the video once I pull the cards, use your intuition, meditate on all four piles. If you're drawn to more than one pile, listen to all the piles that you're drawn to. All right. If you've never been here before, my name is Amy. Hey, if you have been here before, welcome back, you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There's a whole bunch of you that are not subscribed. That way you can see when I release more readings in the future. Let's get a card for each pile. Here we go. Pile one. What is the card for pile one? And pile number two. What's the card for pile two? You can fast forward through the shuffling if you don't want to watch this part. Pile three. What is the card for pile three? And last pile, pile number four. What is your card? Pile number four. Hello, pile number four. What is your card? Here it is. Okay. So what are we dealing with here? Let's zoom in. Pile number one. This is your card. This is the listing what to do in advance card. And you can pause it here if you want to read the card. This is about listing positive things that you can do when you feel uneasy. All right. So you might be drawn to that card or you could be drawn to this bracelet here. I'm actually wearing this bracelet today. This is the dragon bracelet on my website. It's made with rose red tiger's eye. It's like a pretty magenta color. Or you might be drawn to the chocolate covered strawberry. If you're drawn to any of those things or all three of those things, your pile number one, all the timestamps will be listed down in the drop down box below there. So you can just click on the timestamp or the chapter and it'll take you directly to your pile. Pile number two, this is your card. This is the color therapy card. Uses colors and shades to bring balance and well being. Chromotherapy. All right. You might be drawn to this card, or you might be drawn to that evil eye bracelet. This is the blue evil eye bracelet made with lapis lazuli tiger's eye. Or you might be drawn to the chocolate chip cookie there. You're drawn to any of those things or all of those things you are pile two pile three this is your card pile number three this is the forest bathing card forest bathing is a beautiful term for spending time among the trees okay so you might be drawn to that card or you could be drawn to this 
black evil eye bracelet. It's the one I'm wearing on my left hand today. The black evil eye bracelet. That one is made with onyx. Onyx crystals. Or you might be drawn to the yummy cinnamon roll. Cinnabon cinnamon rolls. Yummy. If you're drawn to any of those things or all of those things, you are pile number three. And then the last pile we have here, this is your card. This is the Progressive Muscle Relaxation Card, EMR. It's a great technique to relieve stress and tension. All right. This reminds me of Hawaii, this card. You might be drawn to that card, or you could be drawn to this bracelet. This is the Atlantis bracelet made with lapis lazuli crystals. Or you could be drawn to that stack of pancakes with syrup and butter. If you're drawn to any of those things or all three of those things, you are pile number four. All right, like I said, you can pause the video here. Take your time, meditate on all the piles. I want to give you guys a little update about the bracelets on my website. If you're still here with me, I did redo my bracelets. I made them a little more snug because they were kind of loose. So if you order bracelets from now on, they're going to fit a little more snug, but they are stretchy. So, okay. And that's also where you can book a private reading with me if you'd like to connect with me privately for a personal reading that I only tap into your energy because these are collective readings for a whole bunch of you at once. So if you want something more personal that's just for you, go to my website. It's amysalter.com. The link is down below in the drop down box. So you guys can click on the link or you can just type in amysalter.com. It'll take you to my website. That's where you can purchase private readings and spiritual jewelry. I'm going to have more wire wrapped pendants on there pretty soon. I'm working on those for you guys. They, they did sell out, so there aren't any available at this time. But if you're watching this in the future, you can go check it out, see if there's any available or just give me about a week or so and I should have more on there for you babes. All right, if you're interested in spiritual jewelry, that's where you can find it. So let's get into the reading and find out who is thinking about you lately and what are they thinking about. We'll get messages from them at the end, so make sure to stay if you want to hear the songs and messages at the end of each pile. If you were drawn to more than one pile, listen to all the piles that you feel guided to. Let's get into it. A pile one. Let's find out who's been thinking about you. And then we're going to get into messages from them and we'll get some songs as well. So let's start out with who are they? Who is thinking about pile number one? My strawberry pile, six of wands, four of swords, the death card. This is Scorpio energy coming through for someone. They don't have to be a Scorpio, but there is a group of you that this is a Scorpio. We got the Empress, we have the Queen of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Okay, I'm getting somebody that you could be currently mad at them at some point you've been irritated with this person that's thinking about you it's somebody that is from your past that you had an ending with 
they still check up on you or they're, they're still like curious about you. It feels like there was drama between the two of you. It feels like there was an issue. You could be resentful toward them still. This is somebody that's really physically attracted to you. With the Empress there, they're very physically attracted to you, but they have like a little bit of an ego or they really like getting a lot of attention. They could have a lot of followers for some of you. They don't have to. I am getting that they're like a little bit materialistic or a little bit shallow. I'm getting that you have been frustrated with this person. They're coming across as somebody that does or said says things that are like impulsive and then they end up regretting it because they don't really think before they speak all the time. You might have cut them off or you're wanting to cut this person off. They're coming through as being really stubborn as well. Like they're they're difficult to work with. There's something about this connection that was difficult. There was issues. There was definitely some sort of separation between you two in the past. They think about you a lot when you're like not talking to each other or not around each other. And it feels like there's just one person coming through for you. This is just one energy here. It's somebody that can't stop thinking about you. They they might have tried to move on from you and let you go, but they can't. They're they're coming through as somebody that's like really intrigued by you, really curious about you. For some of you, they follow you on social media or they still check your stories or they're still asking someone about you. Like if you guys have a mutual friend or something, they're, they're like asking about you or they're looking you up online. There's this vibe of this person gets kind of like turned on when you're mad. I don't know what that is, but there's this vibe of them kind of being like intrigued even more like they're already intrigued by you but they get even more intrigued when you're spicy <laughs> it's this vibe of you've been like frustrated with them or you've said something like you put them in their place you've been assertive with them and it, it like turned them on is the vibe i'm getting here this is somebody that is like really focused on success right now too they're focused on their career, their finances. They could be somebody that tries to bury themselves in work just to get their mind off of you, but I'm getting that it doesn't work. Whatever they're trying to do, because it looks like they do try to distract themselves from thinking about you because they're thinking about you a lot. Especially when there's an issue between the two of you, then you're on their mind quite often. Um, but it looks like they do try to distract themselves with shallow things and also with work. They're, I'm also getting that they try to focus on their work, but you distract their thoughts. So you're on their mind often and it kind of distracts them from being able to focus on what they're doing. I'm also getting like when they're alone, they think about you a lot too. When they're laying in bed at night, this person thinks about you a lot. They have a vibe of being kind of toxic though, so I can see why you would be, or they're like stubborn, difficult to work with. So it makes sense that you would be feeling resentful toward them or frustrated with them or felt like you had to put up boundaries with this person or you needed to put them in their place. There's something with that because, because of their attitude, because of how they are, they're, they're difficult. It's, this is a difficult person or somebody that's kind of like toxic. They have a dark side is what I'm getting. Okay. But yeah, they definitely like still spy on you or try to check up on you. They try to get information about you either online or through 
somebody mutual that you guys both know. For a small group of you, there's another feminine attached to this person. It could be like the mother of their children or an ex of theirs or their mother. Okay, let's get some more. Who is this that is thinking about pile one? The head of the pack. Yeah, they're focused on success. This is somebody that's very dominant. They um, have a lot of goals. They're competitive. They're coming through as a really masculine energy, whether they're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. We don't do gender in tarot. Um, for most of you, this is a man. And they're coming through as being like extremely masculine, very competitive, very, very stubborn energy as well. We have the owl here. See, they're observing you. It says observant. And they're trying to figure out what you're up to, exploring the unknown, wanting to know what you're doing, what you're up to. They like check up on you by looking at you, but it feels like they're not, they're like secretly watching you. They're not telling you that they're doing this or they're, they're checking up on you without necessarily telling you or letting you know that they're trying to check up on you. You might be aware that they're checking up on you, but it's not because they're like directly saying to you how are you doing it's like they're they're trying to gather information in a secretive way i just heard incognito we have the tower here for some of you this person works for the government or a corporation or an institution they could work at um they could work in like a tall building. Only take the really specific details as they resonate for you. I'm getting a few different groups of you. This person could work at a school. They could work at like a corporate office. The government is obviously here for some of you too. They're really focused on work, career, success their goals when it comes to finances. They could also live in, I just heard high rise. They could live in a high rise or an apartment building here. Okay. Ooh, yeah, this person's like <laughs> really focused on you. We have the woman card here. You are their love interest. They see you as wifey or husband material. Um, this, this person's very, very intrigued and interested in you, very focused on you. They're like watching. I'm hearing that Madonna song. I think it's Madonna watching, waiting for you to justify my love. So they're giving off this vibe of like waiting to see if you do anything, if you're going to message them or if you're going to initiate something with them person kind of like waits to see what your next move is first. We have the emperor and the empress right above it. Interesting. Look at that. Emperor and the empress together. That is, this is very masculine energy. The emperor. Aggressive, leader, combative, assertive, impatient. This is all the vibes I was getting about this person for you is they're like very, very masculine. This person could recently be working out too. I'm getting that um, like focused on their fitness for some of you. They could also be like a manager or a supervisor, or they're trying to work their way up to that position. They're trying to gain experience to be the head of whatever their career is. They want to be the leader. This is more of a leader person. I mean, we have head of the pack and the emperor here. So it's like 
it's somebody that doesn't like listening to other people. <laughs> They're coming across as very stubborn and set in their ways and they like to do things their way. It's their way or the highway. They want people, <clears throat> my throat chakra is going out. They want people to listen to them rather than them listening to other people. They want to be the one calling the shots is what I just heard. Now I'm hearing that song, All Eyes on Me, Just Like a Circus. It's from Britney Spears, but they they do like a lot of attention. Um, they could have a lot of followers or they do get a lot of attention, but I'm also getting, when I crack that whip, everybody's going to trip. They like to be in charge. Watch me, follow me, see just what I can do. You know, they like attention. They're, they're kind of coming off as like a show off or somebody that has like a big ego. Very outspoken, really assertive. I am getting that vibe of they say things without thinking too. So they could say things that are like insensitive. The stallion, more really strong masculine energy. The stallion, wild. They're kind of emotionally intense too. This person has an intense energy, strong emotions. But yeah, they have a lot of drive and motivation and a lot of goals and aspirations and things that they want to do. But it's like they don't really know how to calm themselves down. This person could be like a little bit volatile. It just feels like they kind of have a tendency to get out of control or get really feisty. They also have like a strong sexual energy about them. So they could be somebody that's very focused on lustful things. They could be in Aries. We have the clock. Yeah, there's been time away from each other here. There might have been an issue with this person like making time for you or making you a priority in the past as well. Yeah, there's something about the past and not making time for you. And then we got Leo energy, more really strong masculine energy with the strength card. Yeah, this person, magnanimous. They're just like, they have a big personality. And they have a sweet side to them as well. Um, they could put on like a tough exterior, but deep down they're really kind of a softy is what I'm getting. They're very determined. They have a lot of determination, motivation, drive. This is this is like a go-getter type of vibe. Somebody that like gets stuff done. They go after what they want. They're very persistent and assertive and dominant. Very dominant vibe from them. Let's get some of these. Who is this spirit? Tell us more about this person. Career, see? <laughs> Advancement in their career. They're very business focused, business oriented, wanting to get a, like as much success as possible. They like to win is what I just heard too. They want to win. They want to be the best. They want to be at the top. All right, and then we got soulmate. So this person is a really intense connection for you in this lifetime. It could be in a relationship for some of you guys. This is an ex. This is somebody where you were in a relationship with them, or you could currently be in a relationship with them for some of you. 
um, or they're currently in another relationship because we did get that third party feminine energy for some of you. They're with someone else right now. They're still really drawn to you regardless of what the dynamic is between the two of you right now. Um, they're still like feeling a strong connection toward you anyway, regardless. They're still very focused on you, even if they're with someone else. Fun times. This person likes to have a good time. For some of you, this person really likes going to concerts, events, parties, clubs. They like attention. And they like to mingle, is what I just heard. They like to get out and network and mingle with people and like meet new people and they like to party. Ooh, you guys have past lives together. That's where that soulmate energy is coming from. Past life. It also says past love. I don't know why my camera won't focus, but... There's... Um... There's a really strong attraction between the two of you because of this. And when you first met this person, it could have felt like you guys have known each other forever because of that past life energy between you two. Okay. Yeah. They like to be the center of attention is what I just heard. All right. And they like to get your attention too. So let's get the messages from them. See what have they been thinking? What do they want to say to you that they haven't said? What have they been thinking about pile one? I find you interesting. We said that. <laughs> we said that. This person's really intrigued by you. They like to watch you and they want they find you kind of like mysterious too. Or very interesting. Yeah. They just find you really intriguing and interesting. This person has trust issues. It says, I have trust issues. So they don't trust people. It feels like that is like a core wound. They don't trust themselves. They don't trust other people. It kind of feels like a projection. Like they can't be trusted, so they assume everybody's like that kind of vibe. They are coming off as being like pretty toxic, so. They could be somebody that's really jealous and possessive as well. Yeah, they're, they're kind of stuck in a low vibe energy. I feel stuck. Person is stubborn. They, um, they're not good with self-reflection. They're not good with changing their behavior. They're kind of like stuck in their ways. Very, very stubborn. This is somebody that's like difficult to get to change. It's like they, they need to be the one that decides they want to change, but it, it's gonna take a lot for them to get to that point and kind of self-reflect and realize the error in their ways you are unpredictable this person feels like they don't know what you're going to do next you did come off as being like spicy toward them so there's something about you that's very intriguing and unpredictable you keep them on their toes and this is something that they're not used to so there's something about you that's really different. The way you act toward this person is different than how most people act toward them. They don't know what you're going to do next. And they're very like intrigued by what you're going to do next. And surprised by the things that you say and do toward them. They're overwhelmed. I'm still healing. Yeah, this person has a lot of work to do on themselves. 
And I do feel like they kind of get overwhelmed easily or they get easily riled up. They have strong emotions and it feels like they don't really know how to deal with them in a healthy way and they don't really know how to tame themselves and like calm down. They have a lot of like deep issues. And I feel like you are aware of this pile number one that this person has issues. Now I'm hearing that song. See, they sound like there's somebody that does a lot of projecting because I'm hearing that song. Yeah, I got issues, but you got them too. So it's like they're that kind of person where immediately if they start reflecting on themselves, they immediately have to like point something out about you and, and deflect from, they, they have a hard time looking at themselves without pointing the finger. Like, yeah, I got issues, but you got issues. <laughs> that kind of vibe. You guys know what I'm talking about. You have changed me. So there's something about you and that's this past life soulmate energy where you you kind of push this person to be different, even though they are stubborn and set in their ways. I just heard you can't teach an old dog new tricks. You do kind of make them, because of your energy of being like very assertive with them and unpredictable and super interesting and intriguing to them there's something about you that makes them have epiphanies and realizations that they wouldn't otherwise have without you being around you kind of make them reflect more than they normally would i think you're amazing this person thinks very highly of you whether they say it or not i feel like this is per somebody that has kind of a big ego so they might not give you a lot of compliments or tell you all the good things that they think and then we have I'm very attracted to you which we saw in the beginning with that empress card and I can't get over you we saw that as well like they they've they're stuck on you some of these within a year or more i do feel like this person needs some time with the clock here like they need some time to grow mature change heal it could take like a few years it feels like it's, it's gonna be a lot of work for this person to grow up heal person needs more time before they get in a place where they're they're like healthy or could have anything healthy with anyone energy you've been thinking about me because i've been thinking about you we're connecting that is this energy here See how the two flames are like drawn toward each other. So they're still really energetically connected to you, even when you're away from each other, even when you're in separation. You guys have a telepathy. Embarrassed. I know I've acted childishly. <laughs> what was I just talking about? They need to grow up. They're immature. I don't know how to approach you now. They're embarrassed about the things that they've said and done in the past. See, I, they did give this vibe of somebody that says things without thinking. They do things and then they end up regretting it. They're coming off as kind of impulsive. Um, they have that strong emotion vibe where they just, they get overwhelmed and some of you, they like explode and then they regret it. They act very immature and then they regret it. The bottom of the deck says karma. My life is falling apart and I'm struggling. So this person, yeah, they're emotionally struggling. They need healing.
and it's like the way that they act is negatively affecting their life in multiple different aspects. In the very near future, I do feel like this person feels a motivation to do something toward you soon. But like I said, they're not going to be ready for anything healthy for quite a while. So if they do try to reconcile with you or it's, it's going to take a lot of time for them to get to a healthy place, but it feels like they can't stay away from you for very long. To like give themselves that, that space. Yeah, a space. <laughs> I need to take a step back because I'm still trying to figure out what I want. I feel like they do need time and space to kind of change and grow. And it might be better for them to do that away from you so that their low vibe, toxic energy or drama doesn't affect you like kind of protecting your peace by staying away from this person. It might be better to keep the space between the two of you. I definitely feel like this is somebody that you need boundaries with. And it feels like you guys already know all of this that I'm saying. Like you already know that you need to be really cautious with this person. They need some time and space to heal and grow. And figure things out, figure their life out. Their life is kind of a mess. Gentle. See, I'm staying away from you because the last thing I want to do is hurt you. That's exactly the vibe I was just getting. Like, if you get too close to this person, they're just going to hurt you. And they deep down know that, but I feel like they have a hard time staying away and resisting staying away so they can only stay away for so long before they end up coming back trying to get close to you again but there is a need for space otherwise they're just going to keep because they are still kind of stuck in this low vibe energy where they don't really know how to control themselves yet this person feels like kind of out of control Secrets. I hid something from you and I'm afraid to tell you about it. And we did see that here with the owl here. It says secrets lifted. So this person, I'm hearing that song by Eminem. Tonight I'm cleaning out my closet. They have a lot of skeletons in their closet. They've done things that they're not proud of, is what I'm hearing too. They've done a lot of things that they're not proud of, that they keep a secret. And they don't trust anyone. So it's like they, they have a lot that they hide. And then look at the bottom of the deck. You guys, I cannot make any of this up. Stubborn. This person is a pain. They're very stuck in their ways and stubborn and freedom i can't be tied down right now i have too many interests oh this person does like being able to like explore options and like i said they like attention so it feels like this person likes to be able to get a lot of attention from a lot of people it feels like they're not in a healthy space compared to you. It feels like you're a lot more mature than this person. You're ready for a lot more and something a lot healthier than what this person's ready for. Um, they like to roam around is what I just heard too. So they kind of belong to the streets type of vibe. Even if they're in a relationship, they're not good in a healthy, stable, long-term relationship. This is somebody that is just better off single, whether they do that or not. They're, they would be better to just focus on healing 
and stay out of relationships for a while, for at least a year. Um, they need some time. Okay, let's get some songs. Give us some songs about this person. It must have been love from Pretty Woman. You Sexy Thing by Hot Chocolate. Yeah, we saw they really are very attracted to you. They might have called you sexy in the past. Stay With Me by Sam Smith. What You Want by Mace. I'll read the lyrics in just a second. Let's get all the songs first. And Hands to Heaven. So make believing that we're together, that I'm sheltered by your heart, but in and outside I turn to water like a teardrop in your palm, and it's a hard winter's day I dream away. And this song is about, it must have been love, but it's over now. It must have been good, but I lost it somehow. Okay. You sexy thing. I believe in miracles since you came along, you sexy thing. Where did you come from, baby? How did you know I needed you? So this person does like kind of cling to you. They feel like they need you in their life. That's that vibe of them not being able to stay away, even though they do take space because they're trying to figure their life out, figure themselves out, trying to stay away from you because they don't want to hurt you. This person doesn't intend to hurt you, but I feel like they do anyway. But they can't resist trying to come close to you, so... Like they can't stay away for long. And then we got stay with me. Yes, it's true. I'm not good at a one night stand, but I still need love because I'm just a man. These nights never seem to go to plan. I don't want you to leave. Will you hold my hand? That's I just got chills saying that. So yeah, this person, like they push you away, but they don't want to go. They know they should stay away from you and that you deserve better and they don't want to hurt you, but they don't want to let you go either. It's very confusing. So this person could really confuse you. It feels like a push and pull with them where as soon as you get too close, they kind of like, I need some space. I need to back up. And then as soon as you back up and set boundaries with them, then they want to come close to you again. It's very push and pull. It's that that vibe of like can't live with them can't live without them and then we have what you want girl i can tell you was meant for me i can tell by the way you were sent to me so this person does feel like you guys are like meant to be together there's a different vibe between the two of you that's this energy here the past life soulmate energy it's like there's something different about your connection with them that is they feel like you're the one for them but that they're screwing things up or that they've screwed things up with you and that they're not ready they're like not ready for you even though you're here we have hands to heaven tonight. I need your sweet caress. Hold me in the darkness. There's something about you like holding them or holding them their hand, giving them a hug. Tonight, you calm my restlessness. You relieve my sadness. Yeah, this person's got a lot of darkness and there's something about you that kind of changes that. And, and calms them because they have like strong emotions and a lot of just like they're kind of crazy <laughs> this person's kind of like intense and but there's something about you that's very calming and kind of changes that about them 
like you you know how to calm them down or you know how to get them to kind of you know how to get them to change and see their darkness because it's like they avoid their dark side but they do a lot of projecting too so it's like they can face themselves a little bit with you but not enough to where they make some major changes it just feels like they need a lot of time to heal but yeah you you have a healing energy about them you could be like an empath somebody that's very caring toward them you might have done a lot for this person in the past there's something about you that you like give them relief from themselves because they're a lot <laughs> This person is a lot, pile number one. Sending you all the fix it, Jesus. <laughs> fix it. Okay. Sending you all the good energy, pile number one, because this person looks very difficult to deal with. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and that it brought you confirmation and clarity. If you were drawn to any other pile, make sure you listen to it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. I'm about to hit 20,000. Wait, 19,000? I don't know. We're about to hit a milestone on YouTube. So subscribe to my channel so you can see when I release more readings in the future. Smash that thumbs up button if you like this kind of reading and you want to see more like it in the future. If you want a private reading where we tap into just your energy, that's available on my website, amysalter.com. The link for that is down in the drop down box below. You can just click on the link or you can go to amysalter.com. That's where you purchase bracelets like the one that you see that I'm wearing that you chose for your pile. Um, also, private readings are available there so that we can tap into your energy specifically because these are collective readings for a whole bunch of you. Like I said, if you were drawn to any other pile, check it out now. If you're done here for today, I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Hey, pile two, let's find out who has been thinking about you, and then we'll get into the messages and songs from this person. Why have they been thinking about you? What have they been thinking? Wow. Okay. We have the moon, Pisces, and Cancer energy coming out. So they could be a Pisces or a Cancer. They don't have to be. We have the Ten of Cups. And we have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So they could be a fire sign. I am getting that there's um, two people. Two people thinking about you. Yeah, there's the other one. Two knights, knight of wands, knight of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Queen of wands. Both of them are very physically attracted to you. And the justice card, Libra. So lots of signs coming through. They could be any sign. We got every sign except for earth signs and scorpio those are the only signs that didn't come through but they could be that sign too it just feels like it's it's two people here that are thinking about you lately one of them is coming across as being really wishy-washy and unpredictable the other one feels more clear and like there's someone here that's like initiating a lot with you or they're about to they're coming in hot toward you so they're like rushing in toward you they want to get things going between the two of you and then the other energy is more hot and cold like wishy-washy and secretive not really expressing a lot and if they do then they end up going cold afterward okay they both find you extremely physically tempting and attractive like you seduce both of these people 
they're both like very much thinking that you're a hottie pile number two you look good but yeah one of them doesn't really act on it as much as the other one does or if they do act on it it's like sometimes you can tell they're interested in you and sometimes you're like i can't tell if you like me or not <laughs> that kind of vibe you have a strong a stronger connection with one of them than you do the other with the justice card it's like you're you're more energetically connected to one of them than you are to the other energy one of them brings more emotional fulfillment and happiness to you than the other one does one of them could really confuse you they could also be like they're giving off being like inconsistent one of them is is very inconsistent and kind of hides a lot of emotions so not very emotionally available the other one's more expressive and a go-getter and kind of just like lays it out on on the table and is very clear not as confusing as the other one yeah one of them is indecisive that libra energy one of them is like kind of back and forth or in and out of your life confused confusing you not really making a decision when it comes to you and the other one is like coming through as being very decisive so you got two like polar opposites here the one that's confusing does have feelings for you but it feels like it's somebody that doesn't necessarily wear their heart on their sleeve or they have a hard time expressing their feelings or something with the moon let's get some of these who are these two that have been thinking about pile number two one of them could be a cancer yeah cancer came through with the moon cancer and pisces energy the chariot one of them is like sentimental and sweet one of them is coming through as being very gentle and sweet and kind and we got the devil <laughs> capricorn energy so they could be a capricorn there is an earth sign coming through now yeah one of them is more like head over heart they they don't really like to get super emotional um when it comes to emotions they're they're kind of like hard they could see being emotional as being weak or like they don't there's somebody that would be like i don't want to simp i'm getting that simping energy if you know what i'm talking about like they don't like being romantic because they feel like it shows weakness or something and then the other one has no problem being soft and gentle the other one is like has like this hard exterior like they put on this mm -hmm. tough guy act is what i just heard oh the the heart yeah one of them is really kind and affectionate and i'm getting that you you get a lot of emotional fulfillment from one of these two that ten of cups one of them like makes you really happy and you feel more fulfilled with one of these two it's like you are more interested in one of them over the other and yeah i'm getting one of them is definitely more affectionate that doesn't necessarily mean that's the one that you're interested in though for some of you you're interested in the, the less affectionate one yeah okay the trophy 
So one of them is coming off as having like a lot of goals, being focused on success and achievements and getting somewhere in life is what I'm hearing. One of them is very like career oriented, goal oriented. Um, they're coming across as being competitive. They could play a sport or be like really into sports. They're coming off as being like very ambitious, like a go-getter. The Wheel of Fortune. The Woman. The Tornado. The Lion and Mutable Signs. Yeah, one of them is easier to work with than the other. One of them is more easygoing. You get a lot of synchronicities about one of these people. So you're like being reminded a lot of one of them, like seeing signs and synchronicities a lot. There's something faded and destined between you and one of them. One of them is seeing things as being more long term with you than the other one is. So one of these energies is like ready for something serious and it feels like the other one is not. One of them is ready to settle down and the other one is still kind of like all over the place, unpredictable. There could have been an ending between you and one of these people. It feels like there was an issue. Things were kind of ruined between you and one of these two there's been a problem there was a breakdown in communication or an ending to the connection but they're still thinking about you regardless of that yeah one of them is coming across as being like more easy to work with and willing to do things your way. The other one is kind of like stubborn, has a big ego. It could be a Leo. Um, difficult. Doesn't really, like you guys aren't really on the same page with one of these energies. But there's this vibe of like, you feel like one of them is perfect for you and you're not really feeling like that with the other one. There's a breakdown in communication or there was an ending to the connection. Okay. Yeah, one of them has like a lot of pride, so they let their pride get in the way. They hold back a lot. Um, they definitely are not somebody that wears their heart on their sleeve. They're coming across as being kind of insecure and having a lot of pride. They might present as having high self-esteem, but like deep down, that's just like a front. They really don't feel good about themselves. Who are these two that are thinking? Okay, so it feels like you are talking to one of them or you recently had communication with at least one of these people, maybe both, texting, phone calls, connecting online, communicating. Yeah, we got short-term endings. So one of these connections is really hot and cold. Like when you guys connect with each other, it doesn't last. This person's kind of like in and out of your life, hot and cold with you. Or there was a major ending with the tornado and this card. There's like an energy of things ended. 
with one of these people. You had separation or you're in separation, no more communication with each other. Or they give you the silent treatment for some of you. Who are these two spirit? Triangle, love triangle, crowded relationship, options. So one of them has options. One of them has somebody else that they talk to. When they're not talking to you, they're talking to someone else. Or when they're not with you, they're with someone else. I am getting a player vibe here with the Knight of Wands. So I do feel like there's a third party. There's a love triangle going on here with one of them. Young female. That could be who the third party is. A younger female or someone that is like into fashion or they could be younger than you, the other person. The third party. Or you could be the younger one. There's something about being younger attached to this third party. Give us one more of these. Destiny again. So two cards about things are meant to be with one of the one of these people. So you're gonna feel like you're meant to be with one of them. You got it twice. Destiny. Someone's name could be destiny as well. We have destiny coming through twice here. So only take the specific details as they resonate. But yeah, I am getting the name destiny coming through for someone. But also there's one of these people you can feel like that's your person. This is who you're meant to be with. And the other one you don't feel as much of that connection with them the way you met could have been kind of like a chance meeting serendipity like the way you guys met was really interesting with one of these two like the stars had to align for you two to come into each other's lives and everything just kind of happened in a very I just heard conspicuous way for you to be able to be in each other's lives. There had to be a chain of events. It was like it was meant for you guys to meet. It was meant to be. All right, so hopefully you have figured out who these two are. Let's find out. What have they been thinking? What do they want to say to you? Get some messages and then we'll get some songs. Every song reminds me of you. <laughs> you have a music connection with someone here. You got music twice. So that could be the synchronicities with one of these people is you hear a lot of songs that remind you of them and vice versa. You guys could have shared music with each other with one of them. Like you sent them songs or they sent you a song or you guys listen to a song together. There's a music connection here. I never met anyone like you before. So one of them feels like you're really unique. They might have said something like this to you before. Like, I've never met someone like you. Now I'm hearing that song. I've been waiting for a girl like you to come into my life. I'm thinking forever. Yeah, see, one of them feels more long term. Like, they see you as wifey, husband. Fiance, girlfriend, boyfriend, spouse, long term.
And the other one is more wishy-washy and in and out. I'm very attracted to you. Both of them feel that way because you came out as the queen of wands. So they see you as like super hot, very sexy pile. Number two, you look good. I'm hearing, damn, you a sexy chick or you a sexy dude. <laughs> we don't do gender here. So either way, they think you're really attractive physically. Both of them do. Like you are their type for both of these people. Yeah, you got a runner here. I ran away. That's this person, the Knight of Wands, somebody that's like in and out. They sabotage the connection between the two of you. They could give you the silent treatment. They could ghost, short term fling type energy, and then they run. And then the other one is thinking more long term, wanting to stay in your life forever other ones like i'm out <laughs> this is getting too serious i'm out of here you scare the shit out of me that's why <laughs> so this this person that runs is scared of commitment and they're they're like intimidated by the connection with you there's something intense and they end up like running away and having to process their feelings but it feels like they come back to you too it's like they they can't stay away, but they also have a hard time staying because they get scared and run. You got a runner here. I think you are very talented. So one of them feels like you're somebody that has like unique things about you. You're very intriguing. The things you do and the way you look are really attractive to one of them. They like everything about you. They like the way you look and they think that you are like special. I'm ready. Yeah, one of them's ready and one of them is not. One of them is ready for forever with you and the other one is ready to run. <laughs> one of them is ready to sabotage. But there's this vibe of the one that's ready to run is like, don't forget about me, though. If I run away, like, I don't want you, but I don't want anybody else to have you kind of vibe. It's very confusing. So one of these energies is super confusing and confused. And then one of them is like ready for something serious, ready to settle down. why i don't know what has happened between us if you're confused i'm confused too that's what i'm just talking about one of them is really confused and they could confuse you because they are they don't know what to do they don't know what's happening between the two of you they're confused pile two and they're probably really confusing you because of the way they act so and then we have play. I just want to have fun with you. That's that player energy. Not ready for something serious. One of them also feels like a game player. Like they play games. They're really confusing. They, they play games. They did come through as the devil. So toxic. I love you. Well, one of them is in love, and you have that here with the heart. One of them is like head over heels is what I just heard. Head over here, heels in love with you. And the other one is not. See? No. One of them is like, no, I'm not going to. They're resisting this connection big time. They push you away. Now I'm hearing that song, You Get No Love. Bottom of the deck is respect. You deserve the best, and I respect you, and I want to do the right thing. So one of them is more respectful toward you. One of them is more caring, sweet, gentle, loving, and the other one is, like, cold and scared, and it's they're a runner. Broken. This is that tornado energy right here. 
the damage has already been done and I don't know how to pick up the pieces. What's this? Sudden, sudden unexpected ending, over and done with. There was a breakdown in communication. Things were destroyed. That's that same vibe as the tornado. And I'm hearing that Eminem song again. You get no love. And then I'm also hearing, guess that's what happens when a tornado meets a volcano. Isn't that Rihanna and Eminem? I gotta look that song up. Guess that's what happens when a tornado meets a volcano. So maybe you're kind of spicy too. Okay, yeah, it's called Love the Way You Lie by Eminem and Rihanna. And it says, baby, please come back. It wasn't you, baby, it was me. Maybe our relationship isn't as crazy as, as it seems. Maybe that's what happens when a tornado meets a volcano. You might want to go listen to this song after you listen to the reading. I would play it for you, but YouTube will not let me do that because of copyright. So yeah. Please come back. Maybe our relationship isn't as crazy as it seems. I just heard sugar so for somebody out there they might have called you sugar don't you hear sincerity in my voice when i talk told you this is my fault look me in the eyeball next time okay let's get some here ghost we literally just talked about that Definitely could have been ghosted. I won't stay for long. I'm sorry. Ghost. Oh, yeah. One of these people runs and ghosts. They're a runner. They're a track star. Pile number two. Yep. They, they ruin things. They ghost. They run. They play games. Baggage. I'm sweeping away toxicity to make room for what's important. So yeah, one of them has a lot of baggage. They came through as the devil. So one of them is toxic. They have a lot of emotional baggage. They have a lot of dark energy. They have a lot of anxiety too get really scared and run and then lessons I don't know what I had until you were gone lesson learned bottom of the deck let's get some more songs we already got a channeled song but let's get some of these for these two we have you by Lloyd featuring featuring Lil Wayne I'll read the lyrics as soon as I'm done pulling the songs. The Hardest Thing by 98 Degrees. My Love by Justin Timberlake. Addictive by Truth Hurts. Attention by Charlie Poof. And Freaky Deaky by Doja and Tyga. Okay. Stop, wait a minute. The way you move that girl, you done got my heart all in it. And I just want to be with you tonight. Girl, please. I'm a player. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. You cannot make this up. The player play card with most of you guys know, if you know Tarot, the Knight of Wands is the player. So he definitely got a player here. I'm a player, yeah, it's true, but I changed the game for you. One of them plays games, for sure. They have that player type of vibe about them. The way you move, you got my heart all in it. See, that 
even though they're a player, they, they've caught feelings for you. But like I said, they hide their feelings a lot, so they might not have actually expressed that to you. There's a lot of hidden emotion coming from one of them. And then we have the hardest thing by 98 degrees. It's the hardest thing I'll ever have to do to turn around and walk away pretending I don't love you. And then my love by Justin. I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting in the grass, laying side by side. You could be my baby. That feels like that's from the sweet energy. They might call you sugar or my love. And then we got addictive. He's so contagious, returns my pages. He's got me anxious. He's what I waited for. He keeps me guessing, spontaneous. I'm. He's so persuasive. So one of these energies is very unpredictable, spontaneous, confusing, keeps you guessing, makes you anxious. Um, sometimes they talk to you and sometimes they don't. Like sometimes they will message back, return your call, and then sometimes they don't. It's like, and they could keep you really anxious and confused, but they could be like really tempting and persuasive as well. And then we got attention. I know that dress is karma, perfume, regret. You got me thinking about when you were mine. And now I'm all up on you. What did you expect? But you're not coming home with me tonight. We have the justice card here. That's about karma. So one of them does feel like... One of them feels like you might not want them, but you just want their attention. You just want attention. You don't want my heart. Hmm. Yeah, one of them feels like you might not really care about them. You just want attention from them. That could be a projection if you're like going, what? That is not true, Amy. It could be a projection. They want your attention and they're projecting. And then we got freaky deaky because we're frustrated. So yeah, one of these connections is very frustrating. It feels like it's the one that runs away. And gets scared and plays games. They all make love that's so overrated. Just come over. I'm over waiting. I'm all messed up. I'm going crazy all on my tongue. So one of them is not really interested in like love making. They're interested in just getting it on. <laughs> it feels like the player vibe is somebody that doesn't really like make love. They just get freaky deaky, you know, they try to keep it like no strings attached. They try not to catch feelings. They get scared. They, they try to stay detached. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and it brought you clarity and confirmation about who's been thinking about you. If you were drawn to any other pile, definitely check it out because you can have more messages for you in another pile, especially because you had two people come through. I did feel a lot of the similar energy in pile number one. So if you were drawn to pile number one, especially, or any other pile, go check it out. If you want a private reading with me, or if you want to purchase any spiritual jewelry, like the bracelets that you see, the one that you chose for your pile, or the ones that I'm wearing, I have them available on my website, amysalter.com. They're stretchy, so... They are one size fits most. Um, the link is down in the drop down box below for my website, or you can just type in amysalter.com is my official website. That's where you can book a personal reading with me if you want to tap into just your energy, because these are collective readings for a whole bunch of you at once. All right. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already. There are a whole bunch of you that are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button so you can see when I release more readings in the future. 
smash that thumbs up button if you like this kind of reading and you want to see more like it. And I will see you all at your next reading. Bye, guys. Okay, pile three. Let's find out who's been thinking about you. And then we'll get messages to find out why. And we'll get some songs to get the vibe. Who's been thinking about pile three? Well, okay. We got the eight of wands. Four of pentacles. Queen of pentacles. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. They could be a Sagittarius, they don't have to be. Uh, okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the King and Queen of Pentacles. This is interesting. And the Page of Cups. Wow. Pile three. Were you attracted to more than one pile? Because. Feel like you were and i feel like you have at least two people it could be three that are thinking about you one of them feels like you guys are in a relationship or you've been in a relationship or you're currently in communication with one of these people yeah with the eight of wands it feels like you're you like just talk to one of them you could literally be in a relationship right now with them or you're you're currently in a, some sort of a connection with one of these people like it could just be like the talking phase yeah it feels like you just communicated with one of them one of them is from the past wanting to reconcile with you they, they're still holding on to you, wanting to reconcile. So it feels like you're in separation with one of them. You're in communication with one. And then it does feel like there's another one here. They could be somebody new that's like around your energy and just coming in. If you can't think of a third person, give it a little bit of time after this reading. And there's going to be like a new energy coming in. Or you just met someone. Yeah, there's definitely someone here from your past, somebody new, somebody that you're currently talking to. If you're not in a relationship or in a connection with one of these three, if you're like completely single and not talking to anybody, it feels like they're in a relationship with someone else. So you could be dealing with a third party situation where someone's thinking about you, but they're with someone else. They're in a relationship. Oh, take what resonates because I am getting multiple energies for you, pile three. There's like a new energy, an old energy, and someone in a relationship with you or they're in a relationship with someone else. They don't necessarily have to be like for some of you, they're like married for some of you, they have a girlfriend or a boyfriend. For some of you, they're just in a talking phase with someone else, but they're thinking about you. There's someone here that feels like they need to apologize to you. They feel a lot of regret and they feel bad about what happened between you two. They want to reconcile. They want to come back together with you reunite and apologize have a conversation talk things out and there's someone here it feels like you're currently talking to somebody or you just recently were talking to someone or you're about to be in communicate like if you're not talking to anybody at all and you haven't for a long time there's a group of you that are experiencing that and it's like there's about to be a message coming in really soon after you listen to this reading. And then for some of you, you were just talking to somebody. You're, you're currently talking to them. And they're coming through as thinking about you. You got a lot going on, Pile 3. <laughs> this might get a little bit confusing, but hopefully you know 
the three energies I'm talking about. One of them is from the past. They haven't been able to forget about you. They feel bad about the way things went. They have a lot of regrets. They feel like ashamed and sorry. One of them is either like currently in a relationship with you right now or they're in a relationship with someone else. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Sagittarius energy coming through. Someone has a dog because there's a dog like freaking out outside. So somebody had somebody, one of these energies has a dog. So there's confirmation for you about who one of them is. Let's get some more details here. We have the sun, Leo energy, really masculine. One of them is very masculine they have a, a lot of pride they have a big ego they tend to be kind of immature fireworks you have a lot of chemistry with one of these people it feels like you've made out with and kissed one of them maybe even more than that because you also have this energy right here hot sexy energy pile number three yeah it feels like you've been intimate with one of these people at least one of them, maybe more than that. You've made out with them or you've literally like <laughs> bumped uglies with one of them <laughs> or more than one. Okay. There's a ton of chemistry with one of these people. So you're really attracted to them as well. There's also a connection to the holidays. So like Thanksgiving, Christmas, Halloween, New Year's, and the 4th of July. So all of those holidays or one of those holidays could resonate as a connection to one of these three people. Confirmation of who it is. The 4th of July. The sun again. Okay, so two of them, two of the three are super masculine. Masculine energy coming from two of them. It feels like at least two of them are like goal oriented, business oriented, successful, or they're, they're trying to achieve a lot of success. Um, masculine energy. I'm getting some really intense sexual energy from one of them. So you could have had like a really passionate night together. That's what it feels like, a passionate night with one of them. It didn't necessarily have to be that you went all the way with them, but it feels like you did. Or you had like an intense makeout session, like dry, dry humping is coming through pile three. There's a lot of 18 plus energy coming from one of them. Like they're super sexual. So they might talk a lot about that or you guys did that a lot together. <laughs> okay. Woo, it's hot in here, pile three. Yeah, one of them is very successful. The fish. Finances, prosperous large quantity of money they could be in investing investments they have a, a large income yeah one of them is coming through as being super successful could be two of them but definitely one of them is like king of pennies zaddy energy like they got money they have a big bank account. Yeah, one of them is very financially successful. There's something about e-commerce coming through for someone and investments. Only take the specific details as they resonate for you, but I'm just getting that they have money. They got lots of money. Yeah, one of them could be a boss, a CEO. One of them, yeah, is very financially well off. 
One of them is coming off as being really muscular too. Um, very fit. And they could be working on their fitness, um, working out a lot. I'm getting like a gym bro or somebody that likes to go to the gym a lot. They like to work out. They're really focused on becoming or maintaining their muscles, their strength. One of them, it feels like they have a child. Yeah, someone here has a child. Or children. Plural. Entrepreneur, boss, CEO. Yeah, it says entrepreneur here. Well, they could own their own business or they're they're wanting to start their own business one of them could have invented something or they could be like really creative artistic or they invented something or they started their own company or they have an idea of a, a business that they want to do Yeah, brand new. There's someone here that's newer. So there's like a couple of old energies that have been thinking about you. And then there's a new, a brand new energy. Somebody that you don't know very well, or you just started talking to, or you're just about to start talking to. Yeah, it feels like you've gone on a date and been intimate with one of them. Someone here is really good with money. That keeps coming through. Zaddy or boss babe. Okay. Tell us more. One of them is coming off as being immature. Like there could be an age gap and you're older or they're just like super immature compared to you. Yeah, there's a lot. You got the passion card and the fireworks. It's the exact same vibe. So one of these people, there's like mutual, strong attraction. Passionate feelings between the two of you. Like can't keep your hands off each other. Thinking about spending time alone together a lot. Wanting to just like kiss each other. Wanting to just like. I can't stop touching you. It's and it's mutual. This is like both of you feel this way. So someone is thinking about you a lot and you're thinking about them a lot too. They're coming through big time. You could have had some like really spicy conversations with this person too. I'm getting like texting for some of you. I'm getting energy of like talking about what you want to do to each other. Um or thinking a lot about what you want to do to each other. It feels mutual. It feels like they think about that with you and you also are thinking about that with them. There's a chemistry. There's a passion between the two of you that is just intense. Like you're lusting after each other. You just want to like ravage each other. <laughs> like back scratching making out really strong 18 plus energy coming with one of these people and again it feels like the feelings mutual you also want to you know <laughs> pile three naughty naughty thoughts who are these yeah one of them is really successful they could have their own business or they're really focused on business achievements money success that was my chair that made that noise if you could hear that the dark male darker than lighter so one of them could be dark skin dark hair brown eyes 
They could wear a lot of black as well. Dark eyes. Dark brown hair. Brunette. Dark skin. Tan skin. Oh, okay. Yeah, one of them you really like. You see one of these people as like everything that you want. High quality. So you really like one of them. I feel like you're going to be happy that they're thinking about you too because it's somebody that you are really interested in. Yeah, you think one of these people is like special, exactly what you could ask for. They, they check a lot of boxes for you. They have a lot of things about them that you really enjoy. They're everything that you could, they make you really happy. Um, you could see being really fulfilled and really happy with one of these people. Ooh, okay. One of them could be your neighbor for some of you. Only take that if it resonates. Um, there is like, there's a person here that you guys know, you have mutual friends or you guys have acquaintances that you know mutually or coworkers or they live near you. You guys are from the same town. You guys could have gone to the same school or worked together or lived in the same neighborhood, live in the same area, have mutual friends. There's other people talking about, or there's other people that have talked about you and one of them. So there's like gossip going on or that has gone on about you and one of these three people. Other people being involved, other people knowing your business, what's gone on between the two of you, or other people know about you too. Okay. Yeah, you're communicating with someone here, or you recently did, or you're like right about to hear from somebody, you're going to get a call, you're going to get a message. From one of these three people or you just did that eight of wands it feels like you're in communication with one of them like right around the time of this reading okay so let's get the messages from them and then we'll get some songs what are these three people thinking wanting to say to you um for a lot of you one of them watches you online or they could follow you online something about being online could be social media or online dating you guys met online i want to be more than friends so yeah one of them definitely wants to be more than just friends friends with benefits um you could be friends but they want more than that I never should have let you go. So yeah, there's somebody from your past. That's that Four of Pentacles energy here. Don't want to let you go. Don't leave me. I shouldn't have let you go. I can't get over you. You're the one that got away. Oh, someone from your past. I have a secret. Well, one of them is very secretive. I love your body. <laughs> That's that firework passion energy there. Someone here is so attracted to you. Like, they love your body. They might have even said that to you. I love your body. Or they're thinking it, but keeping it a secret. They like to check you out. They think you got a banging body, pile number three. 
You're the hottie with the naughty body. To one of these people. You have changed me. But one of them feels like they're a different person now since they met you. I'm in love with you. Wow. Dang. All caps lock too with an exclamation mark at the end. Someone's got really intense feelings for you here. You make them really happy. They're like, yes, I love you. You get them really excited. They're super interested in you. And yeah, they're in love. Someone here has strong feelings for you. So this is something you would know. Like, yeah, I know who it is because they're not going to be able to hide how intense their feelings are. You can tell or they've said it. That, that you, you like know this person really, really loves you. Because they said it or because they act like it. If you let me, I'll take care of you. There's Zaddy. Someone here wants to spoil you. Someone here wants to take care of you. They, they want to treat you like you're precious. They could already do that. Like spoil you, give you gifts. Do really nice things for you. Acts of service. And gift giving are coming through. Spo wanting to spoil you. Wanting to show you a good time is what I just heard too. Take you out, show you a good time, and pay for everything. Buy you all the things that you want. And also like do sweet things for you too. Like if you're sick, they want to like bring you some NyQuil and chicken soup and warm socks <laughs> it's like sweet one of them has like a really sweet vibe like they just want to like nurture you they're, they're coming through as somebody that likes to do nice things for other people so their love language could be acts of service and gift giving i'm very attracted to you that's this person and it feels mutual with one of them. Like You guys are both really attracted to each other. You're both each other's type. The attraction is crazy. Really strong attraction physically. They see you as like eye candy. They, they can't stop looking at you. They don't want to stop looking at you. Let's get some of these. Planning. I know that I want you in my future and I'm working on making proper plans. So yeah, someone is planning a future with you right now. They're, they're planning on not going anywhere. They're planning on being in your life long term. They're planning on having a future with you and they're like doing things to set that up so that they can be with you forever. When they think about their future, they take you into consideration. And then we got somebody here that has regrets. I should have, I could have, I would have. Someone here, it says regrets. They wish they would have done things different with you in the past. That's this person that I was talking about that wants to like apologize to you and make amends and reconcile. They feel bad about the way things went and they feel sorry for the way things went between you two. They're like kicking themselves. They feel ashamed. Shame, regret, and guilt. They wish they could have another chance. They wish they could do things over again. They want to apologize. Maybe they have apologized to you. Someone here is very secretive. You got two cards. I have a secret and secrets. I hide. I hid something from you and I'm afraid to tell you about it. What is this spirit? I want to get some. Let's pull on that. What is this secret? What did they hide from pile three? What's the secret? Four of Wands. But they had 
find someone else. Eight of Pentacles, they were like investing in someone else. So maybe you know that that was going on or, or they've completely kept it from you, but you had a suspicion that one of these three people was like investing in another connection. They were giving to someone else and keeping it from you. So one of them has low integrity. One of them is like you can't trust them. They don't have integrity. They are giving off vibes of being like a cheater. giving to more than one person at the same time or going and like talking to somebody else behind your back like investing in someone else on the side they have like a side piece or you were the side piece something something sketchy here with one of them low integrity keeps coming through so they don't have integrity when it comes to loyalty one of them is like very disloyal. Okay. Oh, whoops. On deck. Space. I need to take a step back because I'm still trying to figure out what I want. Within a few months. That feels like this person that needs space, needs a few months. They need some time. They need a few months to figure out what they want, which direction they're going. And maybe they'll be too late by the time they figure it out for some of you. Like, take your time, but I might not be here when you're ready once you figure things out. And then we got clean, clingy. That's this four of pentacles vibe here. Someone is like holding on to you feeling trapped pushes me away please give me some space and yeah one of them okay so there is someone here that is coming off as clingy but then there's another person that is coming off as like pushing you away needing space again so one of them is like doesn't ever want to let you go and then there's an energy here of somebody that like pushes you away take step back as soon as you start getting close they push you away or they start feeling like they're going to get trapped this person's scared of commitment please give me some space i need to take a step back because i'm still trying to figure out what i want i don't want to feel trapped but one of them is like clinging on to you and has the opposite type of vibe of this person here that's like pushing you away. So you got polar opposites going on. One of them is like, never let me go. And the other one is like, get away. Okay. Defensive. I'm not ready to talk. I will only push you away. Three cards in a row of someone pushing you away, taking a step back, wanting space. Three cards. That's crazy. Yeah, someone here is like really defensive with you. Um, not ready for anything. They're thinking about you, but if you guys start dealing with each other it's somebody that's going to run push you away but then there's someone here that's clinging to you like i never should have let you go so there's definitely two very opposite energies coming through one of them is like almost codependent on you like i need you in my life and then the other energy is like stay away yeah, one of them is trustworthy and another one has a lot of secrets. I'm telling you the truth. You can trust my words. So one of them is trustworthy and there's another one here that hides a lot. 
They're very strategic. They keep up. They have a lot of secrets. They hide a lot. And then there's an, another person that's like very authentic and open and honest coming through here. Good with communication. They're a good listener as well. You got some very different energies here. I don't know what I had until you were gone. Lesson learned. That's that. I never should have let you go. I didn't know what I had until it was gone. That's the person that's like clinging to you. Got four of pentacles. That's also the same person that has the regrets. That wants to apologize to you, Page of Cups. Regrets and lessons learned. I should have, could have, would have with you. I didn't know what I had until it was gone. Now they appreciate you more. They shouldn't have let you go. Okay. Let's get some songs. Oh, that was really fast. We got Nobody Knows by Babyface. I'll read the lyrics in just a second after I pull the songs. Okay. Oh, someone's watching you. Every breath you take by the police. Every move you make, I'll be watching you. Someone's stalking you, pile three. You got one of these people stalking you. Since you've gone, I've been lost without a trace. I dream at night and I can only see your face. I look around, but it's you I can't replace. That's this person. I didn't know what I had until you were gone. I never should have let you go. I can't replace you. They feel lost. Nobody knows. Like a clown, I put on a show. The pain is real, even, and no one knows. And I'm crying inside, and nobody knows it but me. We got Borderline by Madonna. Something in the way you love me won't let me be. I don't want to be your prisoner, so baby, won't you set me free? Stop playing with my heart. Finish what you start. One of these people thinks you're playing with them. One of these people feels like you're, you're playing with them. Stop playing with my heart. Finish what you start. I don't want to be your prisoner. Set me free. Love and Happiness by Al Green. You be good to me and I'll be good to you. We'll be together. Yeah, we'll see each other. Walk away with victory. One of them really wants to work with you and love you and be happy with you. If you don't know me by now, by Simply Red. If you don't know me by now, you will never, never know me. Now all the things that we've been through, you should understand me like I understand you. So you've been through a lot with one of them. And they feel like they know you really well. They understand you. But they might feel like you don't really understand them. And then we have Wasted on You by Morgan Wallen. Looks like I'm learning the hard way again. It's all my fault. Yeah, I dropped the ball. You're gone and I'm gone three sheets to the wind. Thinking about all I've wasted on you. Wasted on you. Somebody here has been drinking too. Thinking about you when they're um, doing some drinking. And then we got the thong song <laughs> by Cisco. <laughs> she had dumps like a truck, 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 thighs like what, 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 all night long. Let me see that thong. <laughs> What was that? I'm very attracted to you. And then 
I love your body. <laughs> One of these people is just like super into your booty, your thighs, your undergarments. They want to see you undress. <laughs> There's someone here that's like, shake it for me. <laughs> I just heard something about like sit on my lap. Okay. Yeah. Naughty, naughty. One of these people is very naughty. That's this vibe of this passion and the fireworks. It's like, oof, 18 plus energy, big time. They think about hot, but naked stuff. <laughs> Pile three. Ooh, the thong song. Funny. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and it brought you clarity about who's been thinking about you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. A lot of you are not subscribed. What the heck? That way you'll see when I release more readings in the future. Make sure you smash that thumbs up, up button too if you like this kind of reading and you want to see more like it in the future. If you want a private reading, because these are collective for a whole bunch of you at once, I have personal readings available on my website, amysalter.com. The link is down in the drop down box below for my website, or you can just type in Google amysalter.com. That's where you will find spiritual jewelry, like the crystal bracelets, like the one that you chose for your pile. These are available on my website and private readings are on my website so you can book a reading that is just for you whoop, where I tap into just your energy instead of a whole collective of you because you guys had so many people come through you could have been drawn to other piles definitely listen to any other pile that you were drawn to you might have additional messages for you in the other piles and if you're done here for today, I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Hey, Pile 4. Let's find out who's been thinking about you lately. And then we will get messages and songs from them after we figure out who it is. Here we go. Pile 4. Strength card. Leo energy. So they could be a Leo. Ooh. Ace of Wands, boy, yo, yo, you guys know what that means. If you watch my readings often, you know what the Ace of Wands is. Who's been thinking about Pile 4? Someone that feels very, very physically attracted to you, like horny energy. I'm kidding somebody that is very turned on by you. They're fantasizing about you a lot. Seven of Cups. So they're thinking, they're having naughty thoughts about you, Pile Four. Their attraction to you is really strong. We got the Magician. Four of Pentacles. Whoever this is, it feels like it's one person that's coming through for you. Um, they're really physically attracted to you and they want to make their fantasies about what they want to do with you a reality. Like they're hoping you guys are going to do this in the future. Okay. Yeah. This person like has a lot of naughty thoughts about you. King of Cups. They also care about you though. It's not just purely lust there is a lot of lust coming through but you make their mouth water is what i just heard you make this person drool or you make their mouth water they're really tempted by you but they also care about you a lot king of cups they might not necessarily know how to express their emotions like in a deep way they might be more sexual about it but they have a strong physical and emotional attraction to you I feel like they're they're coming off as being somebody that's pretty attractive. Like they have a lot of options, but they're really focused on you. They're like, yeah, clinging to you. 
but they do have other options because they're coming across as being somebody that's physically attractive themselves because you're definitely coming off as being very good looking um, to them, but it's also like vice versa. This person's also good looking and charismatic. Like they have nice energy. They're energetically attractive and physically attractive. And they feel the same way about you. This person knows how to get what they want too. Yeah, they're coming across as being very charismatic. So I feel like you are also really attracted to them. It feels mutual. You guys both have like, you think each other's hot. You both think the other person's hot. You both get turned on by each other. Yeah, you're, you're turning this person on. I don't know what you're doing, if you're doing it on purpose or not, but they're really turned on by you right now and doing a lot of fantasizing about what they want to do in the bedroom. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Look. Sexuality. <laughs> the lilies. This person knows what they're doing, too, um, when it comes to that. They, they know how to please you. They want to please you. This person's a giver. They're good at... There's so much 18-plus energy coming through Pile 4, and I got to be careful because this is YouTube, and they get really weird about... YouTube Daddy is super strict. Look at the bottom of the deck. The rabbits. Sex and procreation. Yeah, you know what rabbits do, right? Now I'm hearing that song, I wanna mm, you like an animal. <sighs> that song might resonate with you. I wanna feel you from the inside. I wanna you like an animal. You got me closer to God. They have a really strong desire for you. Their feelings for you have gotten stronger over time. So, like, since you guys first met this person, no matter how long that's been, their feelings for you have gotten really intense. Like, they caught feelings. It might have started out as being more casual. For some of you. But. They quickly started. Like really caring about you too. Establishing some deep feelings. As they got to know you more. Okay. Yeah their feelings are just growing. And getting stronger. As they. As time goes by. The lovers. Okay. We got a Gemini here for somebody. But yeah, this person really likes to talk to you too. You're on their mind a lot. They're, they do a lot of fantasy. I also feel like you go, go into their dreams is what Spirit just said. Like you're in their dreams. They've had a dream about you or multiple dreams about you. They like wake up and feel like, Something literally just happened between the two of you, but it was just a dream. Ten of Pentacles. They feel like they could have it all with you. Not just physical, but also like mentally stimulating. They feel like you physically stimulate them <laughs> big time, but also like there's something about you that is mentally stimulating for them. They like to talk to you. They like hearing what you have to say. They like the conversations that you guys have had. They feel like you're somebody that's really witty or like the things that you've said to them are very intriguing. Yeah, you intrigue this person. They just want you more and more. The more they talk to you, the more they get to know you, the more they want you. And the more they want to talk to you. Like this person really likes talking to you. Okay. They, they don't want you going anywhere either. They want to hold on tight to you. 
ask questions. Yeah, this person like wants to know more. They can never know enough. You keep this person like guessing or they're really, really curious about you. They're super intrigued. They think you're really like clever, witty. Um, the things that you've responded to them, they just are intrigued by your responses, the things that you've said, the things that you guys have talked about. It's just like they think you're so interesting. They're very interested, Pile 4. So it's not just physical. Even though, like, it feels like it might have started out that way. They, When they saw you, they were like, damn, who is that? When Like, the first time they saw you, they were, like, instantly just like, oof. Making them drool, making them sweat, getting them hot, getting them really turned on. Like I said, boy, yo, yoing person was like hello who is that the first time they saw you the attraction was just like immediate but i'm also getting like they started catching feelings really fast after you started talking to each other and getting to know each other it was almost like love at first sight they were there's something about you that just caught their eye and then it got better and better as the more they got to know you. The Empress, yeah. Attractiveness. So they find you very, very attractive, beautiful, graceful, lovely, hot, sexy. You bring this person a lot of pleasure and happiness. And look, there's love here. That's that King of Cups energy. Like, it's not just sexual, it's also deep feelings. This person's catching big feelings for you, and there's the attraction is crazy. It's strong, strong desire, strong attraction. Like, they've never felt like this with anybody. The amount of attraction they have for you is intense. And like I said, it's not just physical. It's also mental, mental stimulation, but also physically stimulating. Okay. Um, yeah, growth. This person, <laughs> this person gets super excited looking at you. I feel like they love looking at you, um, especially if they have like any pictures of you or if they're, they know that you're on social media. It's like, they like looking at your pictures. Um, or in person, they just, they can't stop staring at you. They feel like things are going to go well between the two of you. They, they fantasize about a future with you. And there's like a lot of hope and optimism that they could have relationship goals with you. Ten of Pentacles. This person sees you guys like falling in love and them never letting you go that's what they're thinking about when they think about you is like making things happen with you making their fantasies with you come true they're they're definitely like planning a future with you they have goals in the future relationship goals and it's it's all about you they feel lucky and fortunate to have met you They want to make a future happen with you. And then we got the double rainbow at the bottom. So serendipity, good luck. They feel like they were lucky to meet you. Maybe you guys met in kind of a weird way. The way you met was interesting. Or it would be a good story to tell your grandchildren is what I'm hearing of how you two met. Or it'd be like a funny story. They feel like the timing was perfect for you guys to meet. Or something had to happen perfectly for you guys to meet. They think you're perfect too. Like this person has you kind of on a pedestal. That Empress card especially. They're like, they're in love. You're like everything they ever want. 
Let's get some of these for pile four. Who is this? Brunette female. Focused, intense, dark hair. So they could have dark hair. Um, they don't have to, but yeah, they're like intensely focused on you. Focused, intense. The feelings that they have for you, like I was talking about earlier, it's really intense. The attraction is intense. And they're not, like I said, this person has options. It feels like they're pretty attractive and charming. So they have other people that are interested in them, but they're not focused on them at all. They are focused on you. They feel like you're a goddess is what I'm hearing, or a god. We don't do gender here, so take it as it resonates. They're, they're like, they have you on a pedestal. They think you're everything they could have ever wanted. You're exactly their type. You're everything they could have dreamed of. Again, they feel lucky to have met you and they are just focused on you. Like they have all these other coins around them, like all these other energies that are interested in them too. But they're like, I want you. And I'm hearing that song, I know what I want and I want it now. I want you. This person could be know that they're attractive. They are coming off as being confident. Okay. They know they have options, but... Now I'm hearing that song from Greece. You're the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, you're the one. You're what I need. Oh, yes, indeed. Past lives. So this person feels more comfortable with you than they do with other people. They feel a stronger connection and you guys have been together in other lifetimes. I do have a past life reading on my channel. It was like a year ago, but my readings are timeless. So you, whenever you guys come across them or watch them, it's timeless. So it should resonate when you're watching it. You can type in Amy's altar and past life. And that reading should come up. I also have it available on my website as a private reading if you're ever interested to see what happened in your past life with this person. But yeah, you guys have been together in other lifetimes, so your souls recognize each other instantly. That's what I was getting, like, love at first sight. Like, the moment they saw you, they were like, hello, because their soul remembers you because you guys have been together before. Your souls have been together multiple times, so there's a level of comfort and familiarity. Like, did I, do I know you? But you didn't know each other yet. Open relationship, casual openness, non-commit, no commitment. Like I said, some of you, it started out as like, just... Like it started out that way where it was just a strong sexual connection for them, but then they started catching feelings. So you guys, I feel like for most of you, things aren't official with this person yet. You're either like in the talking stage still, or there's a third party going on. So they're with someone else, or you're both with someone else, or you're with someone else. Where you guys are like just starting to date. Things have been casual with you. Or you guys could have just been friends for some of you. It just feels like things haven't gotten really official. Because they're looking at you as like relationship goals. Of what like the future could be. And they're fantasizing about a future with you. So it feels like it's not necessarily something that's happening right now. It's something they're fantasizing about. Eventually, you guys will be in this amazing relationship together. But things are either just casual between you two right now, or they have another commitment going on, or you do. It does feel like there's a blockage or a wedge. We got mature woman. This person thinks really highly of you, like you are the best option for them. 
They really like the way you think. They think you're like really clever, really witty, very mature, exceptional. They find you to be like different than anybody else. I'm trying to get this one to go under there, but it won't. Um, but yeah, it does feel like for some of you, there's a blockage or there's, you need more time, something about needing more time or needing to make certain changes first before you guys can actually be together and have this future together. Because it feels like it's more like a fantasy and a dream right now. It's like you can't be with each other yet for some reason. Twin flame. Spiritual alignment. Effortless. Yeah, there's something about this connection that just feels like you guys are meant to be. This person feels like you are meant for them. But it does feel like there's something that's off about the situation. The timing's off. Things didn't line up yet, or things are still progressing between you two. Like it's meant to be, but just not yet. There's no commitment yet. But there's this feeling of like, eventually you guys are going to be in this committed relationship. Yeah, there's a problem that needs to be solved here first, or a change that needs to happen to be able to come into alignment with each other. There has to be a, a change. It says making stable changes or solving a problem to be able to create this future together. So it feels like it's a little bit different for a lot of you, what the dynamic is here, but it does feel like you're being kept apart or... It's not time for you guys to be official yet. It could be distance that's coming between the two of you. It could be another person. It could be a situation like work, family. Something is keeping you two from being able to go all in with each other. There has to be like a change first or problem that is solved for you to have an opportunity to really actually be together. Interesting. Okay. Spiritual. Spiritual growth, learning, expanding. This is a really spiritual connection. You got two of the spiritual cards and neither one of these cards came out for any other pile. Spiritual alignment and spiritual growth. So, like, there's something going on here. Comment down below if you want to share what it is, because it does feel, like, a little bit different for all of you, but there's something that needs to change for you to come into alignment with each other, or to be able to go all in with each other. Something, yeah, something that's, like, it's, it's doable. Whatever it is, it's, like, there's a, a strong chance of it happening and working out and that things will change, but something's, I just heard something's got to give. There has to be like a change made first. You guys have a strong energetic connection with each other. You got past lives too. This is like very spiritual connection. You got the lovers as well. That's the same vibe as this. Twin flame card, the lovers, soulmate, like this is meant to be. This you guys were destined to be together in, in every lifetime, but there's some sort of obstacle. I mean, that happens a lot with spiritual connections. There's some sort of obstacle first, or a lesson that has to be learned first, uh, a difficulty that kind of keeps you guys apart. Cause that's that like spiritual warfare where um, dark energy is going to try to keep you guys apart. 
because once you're together, you have the power to cause a lot of energetic changes for everybody around you, not just the two of you. There's like a spiritual purpose of you guys being together. And so there's going to be like dark energies that try to tear you guys apart or keep you guys apart. There's going to be obstacles. There's going to be challenges or problems. Things that have to change first before you can come into union with each other. There's going to have to be like a lot of effort on both of your parts to actually reach this goal, but it'll pay off. It'll definitely be worth it. Yeah, for some of you, there, there has to be like walking away from something one of you or both of you has to walk away from something to be able to be together. The timing has to be perfect. Feels complicated. It feels complicated. Okay. So let's see what this person is thinking about. What are the messages? And then we'll get some songs. Yeah, something has to be figured out here for you guys to actually be in a committed relationship together. Something has to be figured out. What is this person thinking and wanting to say? I wish you wouldn't push me away. So take that as it resonates. For some of you, you might have pushed this person away. I'm not ready for some of you they pushed you away vice versa you guys pushed each other away or they're in a situation where they can't go all in with you yet yeah there's something going on here there's a problem they're not ready or you're both not ready the timing is off the situation needs to change I've been thinking about you a lot so person thinks about you very often you're on their mind a lot you're even coming through in their sleep so you're on their mind even when they're in the astral realms <laughs> I secretly admire you oh yeah for some of you only take what resonates here, but because there's different groups of you that are listening to this pile. If you want something that's just for you, you got to book a personal reading. These are for a big collective. But there's a group of you here where this person is like with someone else, or you both are, or you are, and they have to like secretly have all these fantasies and feelings about you. They're secretly looking at you. secretly thinking about you a lot. I think you're amazing. Yeah, this person's really impressed by you. Like I said, it's not just your looks. Definitely your looks are a factor here, but it's also like the way you think, the person that you are. This person thinks you're a really good person. They think you're amazing. Like I said, they have you on a pedestal. They're, they're looking at you like you're a unicorn. <laughs> They've never seen anything like you before and they feel like they never will. There's something really special about you and magical and just amazing. I ran away. So yeah, so some of you, you push them away. Some of you, this person is running from you. Take it as it resonates, but there is some sort of a rift here. There's some sort of a blockage. One of you is pushing the other away, or both of you is like getting kind of scared, running. It's intimidating is what I just heard. So this connection is intense. You guys could both run from each other. Yeah, you're amazing. You're interesting. Person's very interested in you. They think you're great. They think you're awesome. They're like, you're amazing. 
and they're sad about like it's depressing and it's sad that they can't just be with you right now or that things haven't worked out or that they like ran from yeah for those of you where this person kind of ran from the intensity they have regrets about that they might have ran from you um, or been non-committal with you and now you're pushing them away for some of you. Like I said, for some of you, this could have just been something where you're just friends um, or it was just casual or you're just in the talking phase. Tell us more about this really confusing situation. Like I said, this person fantasizes about you. It literally says fantasy. I wish I could. See, they're dreaming. That's what I was getting with the Seven of Cups. They're dreaming about the future. They're fantasizing about the future. They wish things were different. There's something. There's a problem. There's a challenge here. They wish they could be with you, but it just hasn't worked out or it can't be that way right now so it's just a fantasy they're doing a lot of fantasy fantasizing though gesture i'm going to come sweep you away see they're planning and fantasizing about the day where they can just come take you away Swoop is what I just heard. <laughs> they want to come swoop, pile number four. Swoop you up. Sweep you away. They wish they could, but there's something caught. It could be distance for some of you, like long distance situation, or there's like something going on with work. Something keeping you two apart. They're there with someone else. They have a, a prior commitment or something that they're stuck in or that you are or you both are. And then I'm splitting the deck back here. It says, I've been in my head about you constantly thoughts. You're on their mind a lot. This person thinks about you and fantasizes about you like so much. It says that right here. I've been thinking about you a lot. You're on their mind, like, obsessively. Obsessive thinking and planning, see? I know that I want you in my future, and I'm working on making the proper plans. Wow. Thanks for the confirmation, spirit. They're planning on what to do so that you guys can be together. But it's like there's something that's causing you to not be together right now. Like I said, comment down below if you care to share. You don't have to, but I do like hearing how it resonates for you guys. I appreciate the comments so that I, I know what I'm talking about here. <laughs> this person wants you to trust that they're working on it. Whatever this problem is, whatever needs to change so you guys can be together. Or even if it's just that they need to open up to settling down and not being casual anymore and like taking it to the next step. It's like they're working on it. And they want you to trust them, like believe them. That the bottom of the deck, it says, listen, I'm telling you the truth. You can trust my words. It's like they want you to trust that they are planning a future with you and they're working on it. They're they're trying to do what needs to be done. Sorry, there's a lawnmower outside. There's an interruption. There's something interrupting this connection between you two. But like I said, that is this. And especially with past lives, usually with a past life relationship, all the readings that I've done on past life relationships, there's always some sort of challenge that kind of keeps you two apart in every lifetime. There's some situation that causes major problems um 
and twin flame, same thing. There's always like, there's this dark energy that causes conflict that causes a, a blockage between you guys just easily being able to, you know, it's, it's never like super easy. And I'm getting that with this connection. Like it's not just, it's not that simple. It's difficult. There's complications. It's something that has to be planned and worked out and there has to be changes made and all that. Regrets. I should have, could have, would have. This person wishes things were different. They wish it wasn't this challenging to be with you. They wish that things could be different. If they knew then what they know now, they would have done things differently in the past so that it would be easy for you to be together. Embarrassed. I know that I've acted, acted childishly and I don't know how to approach you now. So for those of you where this person ran away, because that is for a group of you, but only take it if it resonates. It's still your reading if that doesn't resonate with you as long as the overall vibe resonates. But there's a group of you here where this person ran, they pushed you away, they weren't ready, they acted childishly. They're embar they embarrassed themselves. They did or said something that they're embarrassed about broken the damage has already been done and i don't know how to pick up the pieces so yeah this person's trying to figure out how to fix things or change this situation um they don't really know what to do they're confused this connection is intense and confusing for them um they're trying to like put it together so that it'll work out there's something about like wishing they could go back in time and do their life differently so that it didn't end up this messy. It feels complicated and messy and confusing. Sorry about the lawnmower, but it feels symbolic that there's like interruptions, there's distractions with this connection, there's things that are keeping you from being able to be focused on each other completely. But this person is intensely focused on you right now. But there's something that's like keeping this connection distracted from being able to just focus on each other. Let's get some songs. Tell me what I got to do because I can't let go of this chemical. Chemical by Post Malone. Posty. Post Malone. Yeah, that's that. Um, Four Pentacles. I can't let go of this chemical. They feel they're addicted to you. Like I said, this person's obsessed. They don't ever want to let you go. They're addicted. Tell me what I got to do because I can't let go. been a bad bad girl I've been careless with a delicate man so this is for those of you where they feel like you pushed them away criminal by Fiona Apple I've been a bad bad girl I've been careless with a delicate man so for some of you they feel like you don't really care like they're wondering do you care about them um they feel like very emotionally kind of tortured by yeah there's something about like you guys kind of like torture each other with your energy or it causes pain for each other we have sucker for pain by lil wayne i torture you take my hand through the flames i torture you i'm a slave to your games so yeah some of these people for some of you this person feels like you've played with their feelings you pushed them away you were careless with them um, you tortured them. 
or you played games with them. I'm just a sucker for pain. I want to chain you up. I want to tie you down. I'm a sucker for pain. And I Got You by James Brown. When I hold you in my arms, I know that I can do no wrong. And when I hold you in my arms, my love won't do you no harm. This person doesn't want to hurt you. And they definitely want to hold you. That's this energy again. Like they want to hold you close. They want to hold on to this connection. They want to hold you tight. They want to have you to themselves is what I just heard too. And then the bottom of the deck, I want to lick you from head to toe. From your head to your toes, I want to move from the bed down to the floor. Then I want to make it so good, I don't want to leave. What's your fantasy? Lots of fantasizing um, energy coming through. Fantasies. What's your fantasy by Ludacris? They're, like I said, this person's thinking about like everything they want to do to you. <laughs> like... Taking it from the bed to the floor and licking you from head to toe and making it so good that you don't ever want to leave. And then we also got Put Your Head on My Shoulder by Paul Anka. Put your lips next to mine, dear, won't you kiss me once, baby, just a kiss, good night. Maybe you and I will fall in love. Okay. So I hope this brings you guys clarity about who is thinking about you intensely. This is really intense. This connection is pretty confusing and intense. If you want a personal reading where I tap into just your energy, because this is a collective for a bunch of you, that's why you only take the specific details that resonate for you. Because... Um, you guys all have kind of little different situations going on. So if you want something that is just your energy that I'm tapped into, you can book a private reading with me, a personal reading on my website, amysaltered.com. The link for that is down in the drop down box below. Make sure you also subscribe. A lot of you are not subscribed. Why? Why is that, hotties? Subscribe to my channel so you can see when I release more pick a card readings for you in the future. Smash that thumbs up button if you like this reading and you want to see more like it. And listen to any other pile that you were drawn to. There can definitely be more messages for you in other piles if you're drawn to it. If you're done here for today, I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.